Hi, Dr. Pelto here. I'm going to be uh, commenting now on this NBA player's growth speed. Oh, look at that foot. He's got a big bunion with a hammer toe over the top. 17-year basketball career, 13 of which were... 13 years on those feet? As you can see from this picture, Curtis... Wow. His foot is so worn out. I don't know if I call it worn out. I, I think that's a that's a bunion with an overlapping second toe. Yeah, his toenails have some fungus in them. Look at Reggie. His former Pistons teammate, Andre Drummond, took a video and even hung the Jaws theme song to it because his feet look like they belong to a killer beast. Oh yeah, he has a lot of fungus in those toenails. LeBron James, let's look at his. At the beach, uh, look at that. So he has that bunion with the overlapping second and overlapping fifth toe. Yeah, those overlapping toes can be a, a challenge. Yeah, you see the overlapping fifth toe. Yeah, so those can be straightened out, but um, only if they're painful. But definitely has a unique shape. It reminds me of the shape of a <laughs> kind of Nike shape, LeBron. Know, that's the whole problem with those shoes is that they, they kind of go together and they make, they kind of match the foot. It's weird that a foot can be molded. That's the problem. That's why we recommend anatomic shoes. The NBA world was blessed again when 2012 Evan Turner at the- Look at Evan Turner's. Wow. Look at, they have some hammer toes. Outside of being the best center in the NBA, Joel Embiid's feet can also compete in being some of the grossest- Look at those hammer toes. His toenails are nasty. Yeah, they're just and hammer those toes. And smaller toes are hanging on uh, the deer fungus life. in the toenails. They don't Even seem the all that bad. Even at inside the NBA. <laughs> those are just, ham those are just hammer, toe, hammer toes. To Shaq. King of Shaq. <laughs> he probably holds the title for wow. nastiest feet of all time. Look at those and feet. And unfortunately for us, he has a lot of thickness in those toenails, a lot of, a lot of fungus. Look at him doing his feet. Wow. They're they're thick. They they have a lot of fungus in them. I didn't know he colored his toenails. That's funny. He seems to get a lot of Man, pedicures those, in his post-NBA life, those but I don't toenails. think these nail salon workers are magicians, so I'm not sure how much they're actually going to be able to help. On the topic of pedicures, it seems like some NBA players have That's caught on idea. to how their profession affects their feet, because there have been an increased trend of ballers getting pedicures. Going to the nail salon is usually considered a woman's activity, <laughs> but has become more socially acceptable in NBA circles. Former Look NBA player Nate Robinson I guess, you know, it would be good. You could soak them, publicly and then they would make them, the calluses would come off easier, and the nails would be easier to trim. That's the benefit of soaking them. That's a good idea. The problem is pedicures don't always trim off calluses. You might need to see a podiatrist for that. The American Academy of Pediatric Sports Medicine. I think that probably is podiatric sports medicine, not pediatric. But NBA players do a lot. Can partially yeah, some of these shoes are, are real tight. Speed. The shoes never quite break in, so the skin around the foot has to grow thick layers to absorb the excessive Yeah, the constant pushing back and forth. I, I think that's Over happened. Time, the pressure causes but I think the, like the, the hammer toes in these other things are probably more genetic from their parents. Pedicures help to fix ingrown toenails and soften the skin, which helps basketball players with their foot health. The knowledge is spreading so quickly around the league that the Atlanta Hawks player development staff hosts a I player like spa day, player spa and day. I'm sure other teams uh, that's, uh, do something. Interesting. So, with the, I do agree with taking some of these pedicures is a good idea for different types of players, uh, because I don't think it's so much from just the the players. I think it might also be from the types of shoes they're wearing, and also hereditary. But tighter shoes, the shoes that kind of go forward in the front, can can cause a problem. Uh, so I I think seeing someone. Uh, to trim them, maybe not a pedicurist because they'll just do the, the nails if they can and they won't even do the calluses. You probably should see a podiatrist. Um, but I, I do agree that a lot of the athletes, they have calluses or blisters as well from that. So hope this is beneficial. If you like this video, uh, please give it a like underneath it.